10 awesome versions of boring cars. Ford Taurus SHO. Jalotnik described this car as one of the best sleeper sedans around today. The Taurus SHO uses a 3.5 litre EcoBoost V6, producing 365 brake horsepower. Based off the bland Taurus, which is normally used as a police interceptor, the SHO is no talk and all action, rather than all talk and no action. Sadly, not a lot of people know about the SHO. So if you're a tuner, then I'd say you should take full advantage of that. A Barth 695 Biposto. This is an interesting one. The Fiat 500 is pretty boring, but the regular 500 Barth is pretty boring too. Thankfully, the no BS 695 Biposto is here to save the day. Using the same 1.4 litre turbocharged engine as the Abarth 500, the 695 produces 190 brake horsepower, but it only weighs 997 kilograms so it's as nimble as a sniper rifle on the track. No useless features remained inside the car, so let's hope you don't mind not having a radio or AC. Chevrolet Impala SS The 7th gen Chevy Impala was one of the most basic looking cars of all time. Often used as a taxi cab or a police car, people still feared the Impala, especially if that car was slammed, loud or a crowd pleaser. Anyway, People truly feared the beast under the hood. A 5.7 litre LT1 V8 was used, which produced 404 brake horsepower with the help of Corvette tuner Callaway. It's what's underneath that counts. Mitsubishi Evo and Subaru WRX STI. I had to include both of these. The Subaru WRX STI and the Mitsubishi Evo are two cars with one purpose but with two different directions taken to achieve them. <gasps> Long sentence. The Evo used a 2 litre inline 4 turbocharged engine, producing 300 brake horsepower, as the Subaru used a 2.5 litre 4 cylinder boxer engine, also producing 300 brake horsepower. Using all the electronic gizmos they could get their hands on, these two cars can get some high end sports car sweating. These cars are a true far cry from their basic counterparts. Buick GNX In the 1980s, Buick was a joke. All their cars were slow, boring and pathetic. With emission regulations choking car brands, muscle cars were non-existent. To appeal to wider audiences, Buick looked towards turbocharging and a McLaren in an attempt to make the Regal cool. The GNX was born and its turbocharged V6 produced 276 brake horsepower and 360 pound-feet of torque. The GNX is easily one of the most badass cars of the 1980s. Nissan Sentra SER In Ireland, we never got the Sentra. But I can imagine it's something that your college lecturer would drive. I feel that's what everyone thought. So when Nissan made the SER, I guess people were beginning to take notice. Using a 2.5 litre turbocharged engine, it had 140 brake horsepower, or 175 brake horsepower if you had the Spec V version. With better brakes and LSD and suspension, this Sentra is quite the nimble machine. Chevrolet Cobalt SS One of the most hated cars ever. The Chevrolet SS is one of those cars people don't want to admit that it's fast. The SS model got a 2 litre 4 cylinder engine which produced 260 brake horsepower. In a car that weighs just under 1300 kilograms, it's pretty insane. And so the Cobalt SS makes quite the sleeper. The SS version was the perfect antidote for the otherwise lackluster Cobalt. Dodge Neon SRT4 ACR Like the Cobalt, Everyone denies the fact that the Neon SRT4 ACR is fast and kinda cool. By the time production ended in 2005, the SRT4 had a 2.4 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder engine which produced 230 brake horsepower, which is not bad at all. These cars are much faster than expected, so be careful when you see one at the lights. But other than that, the Neon was quite bland, despite looking rather exciting. Honda Civic Type R It was hard to pick one, so I say any Type R works. The Honda Civic Type R was proof that the basic Civic could be sporty and dare I say excellent. Using lighter components, better rigidity and VTEC, the Civic Type R is a car known to embarrass some of the big guns from Ford, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Chevrolet and all sorts. So maybe you should think twice before mocking that ricer at the meet. Who knows, there might be a sleeper underneath. MG Metro 6R4 British viewers will probably agree with me, but the Austin Metro was one of the most boring, ugly, embarrassing and all around pathetic cars ever made. 
However, all the haters were silenced when the MG Metro 6R4 was unleashed from its cage. Using a V6 engine which produced up to 410 brake horsepower, the V6 was so big that it sat in the middle of the car. Also, as it was a Group B rally racer, four wheel drive was added. And just like that, he had one of the most epic rally racers of all time. By the way, the VR6 and the 6R4 eventually made its way into the Jaguar XJ220.